Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Linux kernel in your Ubuntu-based distributions. Now this is going to work for distros based on Ubuntu 1404, 1410, or 1504. Uh, now whether upgrading the kernel is going to mean any advantages for you, well, that kind of depends. Now, if you go all the way back to the Ubuntu 14.04, you know, that originally came out with kernel 3.13. I think with the latest uh, uh, LTS update, it got it up to kernel 3.16. Um, whereas if you're looking at Ubuntu, uh, uh, say, 15.04, which just came out, you're looking at kernel 3.19, I think 3.19.3. .3. So... Uh, you know the older release uh, you're going to see more I guess more changes is the way to put it uh, as opposed to say Ubuntu uh, 1504 now having said that depending on your hardware you may not see one bit of difference um, if you got some newer hardware uh, you might see some there uh, depending on what graphics card you have um, you know there might with the kernel you might be seeing uh, better graphics responses uh, less bugs that sort of thing um, let me go and drag over I found this article let me find it here get my notes here there we go it was about the features of uh, the 4.0 kernel now we're going to install the 4.0.1 which is basically just a I guess you consider it a bug fix and some little updates since uh, since the 4.0 came out. But kind of coming down here, uh, the live kernel patching that one has been you know widely touted as this is the, the big breakthrough when you go and do some kernel work you don't have to go and reboot the system. Um, you know I don't have any experience to say yet to say. Oh yeah, you know now whenever you do any kernel work at all, you will never have to go and reboot that part of it. I'm not sure, um, so it's kind of a, a wait and see thing for me as well. Uh, but just kind of reading through the article here, like it says, um, we've got some better uh, uh, Radeon driver support, better fan control. Um, let's see, there's more about uh, graphics card support. Uh, another favorite subsystem comes down to file systems and block devices and for Linux kernel 4.0 we have PNFS block server support, ButterFS RAID 5 slash 6 improvements and overlay FS functionality. Um, I'll leave a link to this article if you want to go and take a look at it. I really don't want to go and read through the whole thing. Um, like I said, there's, there's a lot of improvements here but whether it's an advantage for you. Yeah, it it all depends on what your hardware is. So let me get this out of the way and let's get to upgrading this kernel. And you know, it, it may sound like something that's really difficult. It's not. We're going to do it all in the terminal, and I will include um, you know all the terminal commands that you need down below in the video description. So let's come over here to activities. And we will open our terminal. Wow, I can't spell today. Oh, by the way, this is a fresh installation of uh, Ubuntu GNOME 1404. Um, I installed this uh, one for doing a demo of how to install this kernel. And I am also going to do a video showing how to install um, uh, what is the name of, well, don't you hate it when you draw a blank? <laughs> Budgie, that was what I was trying to think of. Uh, I'm going to show you how, uh, in a fo follow-up video to this, I'm going to show you how to install the Budgie uh, uh, desktop environment in Ubuntu-based distribution. So I installed it for, for doing that demo as well. Anyway, let's get our terminal open. And like I said, um, you know, this is going to work on the Ubuntu derivatives as well as Ubuntu proper. Um, and there will be separate instructions for 32-bit and 64-bit, so be sure to use the right one. Uh, don't want to use the wrong one. All right. Go and copy, do a little copy and pasting here. Copy and paste. 
paste this in here, hit enter. And you'll have to wait a little while while it does some downloading and all that kind of stuff. Boom, it downloaded all that right there. All right, now that that is downloaded, we will do this little command right here, sudo dpackage-i debian, put in our password, and let it do a thing. Just sit back and wait for it to unpack and install. Okay, that has installed. Now we will go and paste in a sudo update grub so it can update, yeah, update, update the grub menu. Okay, that is it on upgrading boot. So now all we need to do is a sudo reboot. This will reboot our system, and boom, when we come back, we are running kernel 4. So that is essentially it to, uh, to this tutorial. Uh, hopefully it helps you out some. Uh, please, please comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Once again, I will leave the instructions on how to do this down below in the video description. Be sure to use the correct 64 or 32-bit, whichever your system is, because if you use the wrong one, you will royally screw up your system. Anyway, um, thanks a lot, and I will see you on the next video.